I got asked just yesterday from a client who is helping me out with some of my marketing, Ollie. Why are all your clients, or the majority of your clients in their late 30s, in their 40s, and their 50s, mainly guys as well? I can see they're entrepreneurs, I can see they're business guys, but why? And my response was that it comes from here. I work with women, I work with women absolutely amazingly. And there is a certain fulfillment when I work with women as well. But when we hit our late 30s, and we have that term midlife crisis, essentially this is a thing when it comes to astrology, whether you believe in that or not, your priorities switch. They certainly change for me already. And you go from wanting to look really great, not stressing too much about how you feel, to wanting to feel amazing, look pretty decent. If you can look amazing, then even better. But you start switching your priorities. You start to learn the stresses life throws at you. And you don't realize, you don't realize how much this actually takes its toll. You start finding it harder, harder and harder to drop fat because your testosterone levels have dropped. In fact, they drop about 10% every decade, up to 15% for some guys. That is a lot. So when you come to your 40s and you say, I wanna feel like I was 30 again. And when you come to your 50s, you say, I wanna feel like I was 40 again. There is a specific reason for that. Now when I spoke with my client again and he's helping me with this, he lost 14 pounds in two weeks, he wants to give back. I said, it comes from here. <clears throat> because it's selfish why I wanna work with these people. <clears throat> why I wanna work with entrepreneurs, with busy business guys, with executives, with CEOs that are in their 40s, in their 50s, because I'm working with every individual knowing what happened to my dad almost 17 years ago to the day. And that hurts. That hurts still that, yes, I know, I was 15 when he died. We spoke on the Monday, he was fine. On the Saturday, he was dead. And it hurts that I couldn't do anything about it then. But now, now it's my mission. My mission to make sure that guys, when they hit their 40s, when they hit their 50s, they don't have children having to miss their parents. That these stress symptoms that come along, getting headaches, getting migraines, getting fatigued, getting run down, putting on body fat, we laugh, we joke about the love handles. We laugh and joke about adding a computer belly. But it's serious stuff. When people have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, they can't get up the stairs without breaking into a sweat. They forget what they are about to say. There's brain fog. They wake up tired and go to bed wired. They can't sleep, waking up during the night just to have a piss. These people are stressed and they don't even know it because society has meant it's a normal thing. Social media has told us it's a normal thing just for when you get older, you're going to put on weight and people accept it. And this weight, it can be deadly. This stress, as we've seen with my dad, it can be deadly. He was fine on the Monday. He was providing for his family on the Monday. He sent me a message on the Monday. And that message told me, in fact, it asked me, Oliver, did you get your money? He'd sent me some money. Yes, I got it, Dad. That was the last text message, the last text message that I got from my dad about money. He was concerned about providing for his family. And on the Wednesday we get a call saying he's in hospital with a migraine. It's fine, don't worry. He 
he's going to be okay. The doctors were certain of it. Late on the Thursday, in fact the Friday, he had a stroke. We drove down to the hospital and and the Saturday, July 28th, 2001, he passed away. We had to turn off the life support machine for him. He was 47 years old. 47 years old. When we look at the lifespan of so many people nowadays, it's getting more and more regular that people live into their 90s, over 100. My dad, this highly stressed individual, passed away at 47 years old. So when I'm asked that, Ollie, why do you love working with entrepreneurs in their 40s, late 30s, in their 50s, that have families, that don't even know how much you can help them? Because it frustrates me when I put out these videos and people say you're talking about me. And then they turn a blind eye to health because of the fact it's easier to do that. Now my dad, a couple of months before he died, he signed up to his first gym membership in Colchester. It was too late by then. The damage had already been done by the stress. And he passed away. There wasn't someone like me there to help him. So when I'm asked, why? Why do you love working with these guys so much? It's because of the impact I know I can have on the individual's life. Because don't be like my dad. Don't pass away before it's your time. Stop turning a blind eye to the stress. Start working on your health. Maybe now's the time. Just reach out, drop me a message, and let's just talk just to see what we can do. There's no overwhelm, no pressure, just let me help. I'll speak to you guys soon.